Many of you may have seen a recent interview where two figures claiming to be Muslim leaders have made outrageous and sensational claims. Firstly, Muhammad Tawhidi. He has alleged that Muslims have a secret agenda to create their own Islamic country inside Australia. Now this claim is not only outrageous, but completely baseless as no evidence or proof was provided by Tawhidi. In fact, very little is actually known about this man and who exactly his followers are. After a quick online search, his so-called Islamic Association in South Australia seems to have only been set up last year and the local community doesn't seem to be aware of its existence. His so-called Imams for Peace board that claims to be a community of faith leaders from around the world seems to have no other members but himself. One Path Network set out to find out who this man actually is and after contacting the Australian National Imams Council, the peak body of Muslim Imams in Australia, they revealed that this man is clearly not a recognised Imam, Sheikh or a Muslim leader. We also contacted the leader of the Imams Council of South Australia, Sheikh Amin Abu Samaha, who heads the largest mosque in the state for a comment. He too clearly stated that Tawhidi is not a member of the Islamic leadership in South Australia and is in no way recognised. The second figure interviewed in the same segment is somewhat more notorious than Tawhidi. His name is Mustafa Rashid and he is a well-known imposter who has falsely claimed in the past that he is the Mufti of Australia. This man is a proven fraud and a public liar who should in no way be used as a representative of the Muslim community. In fact, it was way back in 2014 that Anik had publicly exposed this man for his fraudulent behaviour, saying he was not a recognised Imam and it's not even known where he leads prayers. So it seems that this was nothing more than a sensationalised story, broadcast with no background checks and no due diligence, to create fearful hysteria and just grab attention. In this day and age where information flows freely, it's vital that we remember the Islamic and universal principle to verify any information that comes to us. And lastly, a message to anyone who felt worried, scared or even angry after seeing that segment. Get to know your local Muslim community. Visit your local mosque, have a conversation, ask some questions, you'll find out for yourself what many already know, that there's nothing to fear from your Muslim neighbours.